Johnson celebrates its homecoming Friday night at Savannah State as the Atom Smashers will look to improve their record to 4-1 for the first time since 2000, the last season they finished the year with a winning record. But to do that, the Smashers have to get past Groves. Groves enters Friday night coming off a 25-6 loss to Bridewell Institute where the Rebels had a tough time stopping the Tigers running game. While Johnson hasn't shown Bradwell's level of explosiveness from its running backs, Groves will have to stop what can be a very good Johnson offense. But the biggest key for Groves is to produce more than 133 yards of offense it managed last week. The Rebels have a terrific quarterback-receiver combo in Chris Cutter and DJ Edwards, but have to find some more offense from other sources. Johnson, meanwhile, will have to get its secondary ready for the Rebels' passing attack. Another key will be getting pressure on Cutter and not letting him get comfortable in the pocket. Offensively, the Smashers have looked out of sync in their last two games, in a win last week over Jenkins and two weeks ago in a loss to South Effingham. In that time, the offense has produced just one touchdown and failed to cash in on several trips into the opposing team's red zone. Johnson's offense has to be sharper, there's no question about that. But the Smasher defense should give the offense some room for error. And while Groves has big play capability, down in and down out, they have to become more consistent. And that's why I'm taking Johnson to win this one, 24-12. And that is all for this edition of Countdown to Game Day. Thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to play the Blitz Picks Challenge. Go to WSAV.com or SavannahNow.com slash PrepCentral to beat the pros. I'll also be on Thursdays, WSAV 6 o'clock sportscast, and also on Sunday's 11 o'clock show where we'll recap this weekend's action. Be sure to check back right here for another edition of Countdown to Game Day next week here at SavannahNow.com slash PrepCentral. For the Savannah Morning News, I'm Rich McGowan.